Hey friends, how are you? It is Sunday morning and I am uploading volume 8 of the diary series and also trying to get my morning together. I just did my morning skincare and that included, what are the things I've been using? Oh, best stuff ever. Um, it is Supergoop Bright Eyes, it has an SPF of 40. I used that. Then I used the CeraVe Retinol serum. I'll link this stuff for you. And then again, my number seven daily moisturizer. Just a good Sunday. Our storm is not snow. It is just bitter cold and the wind is really bad. You're probably going to hear the wind occasionally. Last night, luckily, we didn't lose power, but oy, it's been rough. Ball and Branch comforter is amazing, by the way. This morning, we got Starbucks, oddly enough. They got a new coffee maker and they can't make coffee. They don't know how to use it. So espressos they were fine with, but like actual like coffee, they couldn't do. What's, what is Starbucks without being able to serve coffee, but they could do like specialty drinks. So we had some coffee this morning. Steven took Mabel, I'm keeping Bubba's at home. Um, it's just too, the weather's too hard for Bubba's. So that's what's happening so far this morning. Just a very, very calm day. Speaking of the devil, is this a Mr. Bubba's? This is an old man. There's this old man. So, um, some of you have asked what we're using. It is called Pet Parents. I'll link those for you. If you have an older dog, you know. But yeah, his old diaper. His old diaper. We call it getting a fresh diaper, right? Funny story, this week Mabel ripped his diaper off and was playing with it on the couch. Luckily it was clean, but she de-diapered him on her own. We don't turn on our Christmas lights, but we still have our garland up. But I don't feel bad because all of our neighbors still have their garland up. We're just not turning our lights on anymore. It's just been too cold to get our garland down. White Bubba's white? It's too cold to get the garland down and worry about it. It's too cold. Why don't you lay down and chill out? All right, friends, it is four o'clock already and it has been a lazy Sunday. We have just chilled out because it is so cold and dreary out. This one is passed out. He's wandering the house. I am catching up on Australia Open because it has started. Caroline Wozniacki, they're replaying her match. She won the first round. I am so excited she's back. Steven ran to pick up some things for the house and I am getting ready for dinner. And tonight we're just having pot stickers. So I'll get my bamboo steamer out in a little bit, but I'm gonna make my dipping sauce. I've shared this a hundred times, so fast forward if you've already seen it. I am telling you, this is what makes the difference. This is also the same peanut sauce I use for other dishes like pad thai noodles or a stir fry. So I'm just going to start with two good spoonfuls of peanut butter. I never mind having too much of this. I can thin it out, use it as a salad dressing. It will always, always, always get used. I also love using a fork and I have zero measurements for any of this. So I'm gonna hit it with a really good low sodium soy sauce, a good amount. You can always adjust as you go. A little drop of toasted sesame oil. Don't use a lot of this because it goes a long way. Some honey, then Steven and I like things spicy, so a decent amount of crushed pepper. Get my water hot, which it's almost there. Mm. The reason I want my water hot is because that's what will loosen up the peanut butter. So I'm gonna add, I think I have enough. Love to use crunchy peanut butter for this because you get the texture of the peanuts then. The sauce is done. I'll just steam the pot stickers for about 12 minutes. Put it with a side of the sauce and we'll have dinner. Tomorrow I'm going to be making a pot roast. 
And then I made the lasagna soup last night. I made dinner the night before, so I just wanted something like easy tonight that wasn't too much effort, but it will still be delicious. Good morning, friends. It is Monday morning. I never put those dishes away. I think I'm going to make us some, I have like seven boxes of these. I think I'm going to make some Kodiak cakes. If you don't have a Dutch dough whisk, oh, please, please, please get yourself one. I'll leave the ones that I get linked on Amazon. They are total game changer. I've also decided to do something a little extra special today for Steven. Uh, I'm going to just melt down some butter and then I hurried up and just sliced up on my mandolin some apple. I'm gonna do like a little apple brown sugar cinnamon thing. I don't know, I've never done this before. So this is new to me. Mabel, hot. Oh, she's the whole way up in the woods. Just wait, she'll be coming. see her. Do you see her up in the woods? Yeah. You're gonna see her coming, just wait. You're a disaster. Hello. All right. I have the apples in there and now I'm going to do some brown sugar and um, cinnamon. But we'll see how this turns out. I might also have to add a little bit of water to it. I also get lots of questions around my um, long spatulas I use. I'll leave those linked for you as well. So I did add a little bit of water, and then also a little bit of vanilla. Wasn't planning on doing this. I just thought it would be something a little extra special. Definitely gonna turn up my heat a bit to try to get this to thicken up. I might have done too much water. I don't know. So it has thickened up to like a syrupy consistency. So, so this is how it looks. You're welcome. I'll get you a fork. I don't like heated up fruit. Whereas this one puts it on anything. Well, that's what we. That's what our discussion was when we were at the at the brunch in. Uh, yeah, he's a sweet breakfast person. I'm a savory breakfast. They person. They kept on bringing things over, and I would get all the sweet stuff, and he would get all like the protein stuff. Yeah, I'm just not like a sweet breakfast person. Like I will eat my waffle pretty much plain. How is it? Very I am getting ready because I haven't left the house since Friday. <laughs> um, did I? Yeah, I don't think I left the house since Friday. But I'm just getting ready. I'm wearing a hat today, so that is not necessary to fix right now. I've already done my skincare. Um, just, I did the CeraVe resurfacing retinol serum, and then my number seven daily moisturizer. So now I'm just going to go in with my sunscreen and I'm gonna do the glow screen. I either go between the on-scene sunscreen, which has a matte finish, or the glow screen. If I want like a little glow, I'm gonna go with the glow screen. Then to add just a little bit more radiance to my skin, I'm gonna go over that with the Keys 
um, Let Me Glow Serum. So you can see I have like a really good glow to my skin. I'm lucky I don't really need any coverage because I have stuck with skincare. I don't change it out often. So sticking with the same thing has really allowed my skin to like really respond. I'm really blessed that I don't really break out ever. Um, occasionally, once in a while, I'll get a, I'll get a pimple, but it's super rare. But I don't change up my skincare. I do go in with a little concealer under my under eye just to brighten up and look a little bit more youthful. In the corners, I use Rare Beauty 100W, and then I just go in with like two dots of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi Concealer, and that is shade 100 as well. So. I just go in, that's a little deeper though, light, light, and then the other one, and then I just blend it out with my finger. And then after I've brightened up under my eye a little bit, then I just go in with my Herbivore Rose Hibiscus. I think this is one of the first things I ever <laughs> shared on my channel, and I still use it all the time. It just helps everything settle in, become one with the skin so it doesn't look like you have anything on, but... That's kind of what I do. If I'm going out, sometimes I'll add like a little bit of like a glow, like um, like a Lumi lotion, like to like just get a little bit more of a glow. But that's just like what I would do on a regular just to make myself look more awake. And I'm just wearing my Lululemon uh, denim shirt jeans that have like a really cool hem. And then I'm gonna throw in some white sneakers and my gray coat and probably a scarf because it's cold. Oh my gosh, and while I have you up here, um, I have to show you one other thing. For less than $20, I got two of these like Lazy Susans here. They have game changed my under the cabinet thing. So I have one down there, one up here, and then I keep my daily contacts, my left eye and my right eye right there but it has changed how all of this has fit. It's the same amount of stuff, but I have so much more like empty space than I've ever had and I can see it all. Game changer. I ended up changing out my hat to my the Frankie Shop hat and I just threw up my gray coat and white Nikes. So, ready to go. Finally leaving the house. I was going to go to Whole Foods, but when I got there, there was like some sort of little like fire near like the doors the like electric opening doors so and there was no one hurt and everyone was safe but i was like well i'm not gonna sit here and wait i'm gonna go to trader joe's and then i went to the, my local dairy we needed milk so i have two half gallons of skim milk they had these pizza crusts i can use two of them for dinner one night I don't know what to do with the other two, so if you have suggestions of other ways I can use pizza crust, let me know. I got Steven an ice cream, and then I did pick up their pizza sauce and an uncured pepperoni that I'll slice for um, pizza. And then I went to our local little bookstore, um, Book Culture, and I have been looking everywhere for this book, and it's been really hard to find in my area but they had it, it's the Ben Rothenberg biography of Naomi Osaka. She lost last night in her first round match, but it was a great match, um, but she lost. But I'm excited to dive into this today. I made another spritzer. This time with the grapefruit juice that I got from Trader Joe's, so good. Like, this can be my go-to. It's just like nice to have it in a glass, like have like that moment. So yeah, little seltzer water, any juice you want, add a sprig of rosemary or some sort of herb or mint and have yourself a little mocktail. Hey friends, so this is Editing Christopher signing off on this vlog. I went to upload the diary entry footage and the audio didn't work. So I've had to replace my SD card that I was using for that footage, but I will probably refilm that for this weekend. But I wanted to get this to you either way because I'm committed to consistent uploading in 2024. But I hope you all have a great day. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone until next time, which will be this weekend again. Bye-bye.